Hey, what's going on YouTube? JT Zerborn here, and welcome back to another edition of After the Movie. Uh, I'm actually in my hotel room right now because I just got done watching a late night special screening of King Kong Escapes. Now, I've already reviewed this movie on my YouTube channel, but <clears throat> this is an After the Movie. I went to a special screening at the Pickwick Theater uh, because I'm in town for Godzilla Fest. So I'm at my hotel room right now. Just got out of a screening because I haven't actually watched King Kong Escapes in, uh, well, it's been a minute. I think uh, when Godzilla vs. Kong came out, it was the last time I sat down and actually watched it because um, I went and watched all the Godzilla and Kong movies, including the weird, bizarre animated ones. And uh, yeah, um, so King Kong Escapes. Like I said, full written review on the channel. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is a fun screening. Uh, Linda Miller, who played Susan in the movie, uh, was there and she presented the film. Um, she, she did go into to say uh, that she was disappointed at the time because as I pointed out in the review, I'm like, wow, they gave her a really annoying voice. Turns out it wasn't her doing the voice. So I, I could see why she'd be upset. It's like, everyone thinks it's me, but it's not really me. So she was very nice. Um, a lot of people laughed and she got a big round of applause. And before the movie started, there was like this 10 minute, like full blown King Kong, like edited tribute. Uh, it goes on for like 10 minutes and it was actually really quite good. It showed all the different Kong films. Hell, even the angry video game nerd makes a brief cameo in it. I'm sorry, Jack, you didn't make it into the cut, but, uh, it was cool to see. Then, of course, we get the movie, and King Kong Escapes, seeing it with the crowd, uh, was a pretty good time. Now, I didn't get the chance to see some of the other movies that aired today. I know tomorrow night they're going to be airing uh, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla with Yumiko Shaku is going to be there. And then Saturday is going to be Godzilla 2014. And then Sunday, it's something else. But I don't think I'll be here for Sunday at that time. I'll already be out of the state at that point i'm sure but it was like i said it was it was pretty cool to see the movie now king kong escapes for those of you who don't know it was a co-production between toho and then and rankin bass so there's actually a king kong show uh that was kind of based on the rankin there was like the, it was it's based on the rankin bass cartoons now if you want a full in-depth review on the rankin bass cartoons go check out kaiju network's channel that's my quick plug to you ryan um so that's that that was that um and the story this time around is the villainous Doctor Who, uh, no, not the TV show Doctor Who, there's literally a villain named Doctor Who, who's probably my favorite part of the movie because this guy is just yucking up the scenery like crazy, he has a ridiculous cape, he's just over the top, kind of zany, and he's clearly having a lot of fun in the role, like every time he turns, he just like, whoosh, like whooshes his cape around and all that, so he's there, you have like a, a guy named Nelson, who's like the American actor in the film, you have Susan, and you have a Kara Takarada, who's his friend, and they're kind of on a little mission. They end up at like Mondo Island where they discover Kong and they also see Gorosaurus. There's a giant sea snake. And meanwhile, you have Doctor Who who's working or he's trying to work with like some mysterious country of unknown origins or whatever it's gonna be. And they're trying to mine this thing called Element X. So he builds Mechanic Kong. So it's a robotic version of Kong based on the design, something that like this Carl Nelson guy or whatever created. Um, but things go wrong, like the uh, the magnetism with Element X or whatever, short-circuiting Mechanicong circuits. So he's like, all right, fine. We're either going to like spend the time to build and shield this thing. Let's just go get the real Kong. So they kidnap the real Kong, who <laughs> the design-wise for Kong, uh, not very good. I think this is the worst King Kong design, even worse than the original King Kong versus Godzilla. Which, like I said, it's, it's fun cheesiness. Like there's some hokey bits, like the audience was laughing at certain times. Uh, we watched, of course, the English version uh, that's on the DVDs, if you will, that uh, Universal has released. And like I said, I enjoy this movie. It's fun cheesiness. Uh, it's not one of Toho's best, but it is a good time. Like, if you like those kind of cheesy, hokey, like, monster movies, like, this is, like, right up my uh, kind of alley. So you, you got Kong there, and then he gets taken to Antarctica, which I think GVK definitely, like, took emphasis of with the whole Antarctica thing. And he's there to try and mine Element X. He even gets, like, hypnotized but that doesn't go well. So then Doctor Who devises a plan. Why don't I get Susan, Carl, and Akira Takarada's character? And then maybe they can use them to help control Kong, if you will. But pretty much every attempt that they try to do just does not go well. And then King Kong, quote unquote, escapes from it, heads to Tokyo, Japan, Doctor Who and them are after him, Susan and all them are after him as well. And it culminates in the big climax in Tokyo with Mechanic Kong battling Kong uh, on top of some like little tower, if you will. Um, Doctor Who gets betrayed by this like woman who was like 
trying to pay him to like mine this element in the first place he kills her and doctor who's just an asshole but he's just like a lot of fun like i said he's my favorite part of the movie by far like i said the way he waves around his cape and just kind of does some like you know fun silly goofy stuff uh his mannerisms are just they're just so on point and he's just like I said, he's he's fantastic in the movie. Um, so he does his thing, and then Kong eventually like wins. You have Susan and doing her thing, and then Kong sinks the ship, and that Doctor Who was on, and that's and then just heads home. That's pretty much the movie in a nutshell. Uh, in terms of cons, I don't think Nelson's the strongest of leads in these types of movies. Uh, he's he's not a Nick Adams. Uh, I think he's serviceable for the plot. Akira Takarada is kind of the same deal. Susan, uh, w with the dubbing that they give her, she is really annoying, kind of helpless, kind of dumb. <laughs> not really like the best uh, Kong Beauty and Beast scenario, probably the weakest of the whole series. Well, King Kong vs. Godzilla, there's really nothing there. At least Susan's more of a character this time around, but uh, then whoever it was in King Kong vs. Godzilla and drawing a uh, blank on the character, like I said, kind of forgettable. Um, that was kind of the female character that Kong kind of like wooed and carried around. Uh, but Susan, in terms of like American ones, definitely the weakest. Well, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I think so, because not as interesting as Jessica Lange or like Anne Darrow, of course, or pretty much everyone else from that point. Yeah, like like I said, it, it didn't really do her really very many favors. But like I said, the reason for this, like it's a Japanese kaiju film, you want to see Kong and Mechanic Kong fight. And it is fun to watch them fight a bit. Like the best fight is Kong and Gorosaurus. Actually, one of the funniest parts in the movie is where Kong just chucks a rock at the sea snake and just like the effects and all of it, just the way it's done, it kind of just like, boom like makes me laugh like each time so like th that's like i said that's just fun goofy cheesiness that i really just kind of enjoy in these types of movies um so yeah like i said my screening was fun this is my first time at this particular theater this is where they have all the g-fest movie screens well there's screenings at the convention but this is the main theater where they showcase everything so going to that seeing with a bunch of other godzilla fans even getting to meet up with some uh, in person was really cool um, but like I said I had a really good time with it and it was like I really like the theater like I said it's a nice throwback theater it's like it's like a huge screen um, the seats were kind of cool like I felt like this is like the perfect like midnight theater type mood for these kind of movies so like seeing a movie like in this theater and that large screen and everything it was a really good time for me like I said King Kong Escapes not the strongest of Kong films but it's 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 perfect for in the mood for like a fun goofy Toho cheesiness not one of the best films that they've done obviously I think in terms of even like the monster battles they're they're kind of lacking compared to some other ones like if you want like a more humanoid-esque battle that's better War of the Gargantuas I think does the job uh, but if you like I said you want something that's pretty silly a, one, one of those co-productions I, I like I said I think Nick Adams in the lead role would have made this movie better um, because of how good he was in Frankenstein Conquers the World and Invasion of Astro Monster. Uh, he should have been one of the Gargantuas, but we got Russ Tamlin, and I don't mind him so much in that movie. I know a lot of people don't really like him in that, but uh, I enjoyed him just fine. But anyways, like I said, uh, not too much else to say. I've already talked about this movie before on the channel, but like I just wanted to talk about my movie screening experience. They did screen a few other movies today. I think they screened Destroy All Monsters, uh, Godzilla 1998, which unfortunately I didn't get the chance to make the screening because it was the same time as my check-in time at the hotel here and I didn't want to leave my stuff in my car for one thing and although like now that I think about it going into town there like it probably could have been okay but they also had like some crazy festival going on at the same time fun time by the way lots of good food um if you're ever in where this theater was at that they screened the movies for G-Fest um so they screened uh Destroy All Monsters they screened Raids Again they screened Godzilla 1998, which would have been the one I would have really liked to have seen. Um, and then they also screened this one, which was King Kong Escapes, with an intro by Lyndon Miller. So that was a good time. There's a nice little like intro there. Tomorrow, like I said, is the first day of G Fest. So I'm uh, or actually like at the time I'm like recording this thing, it's almost like midnight. So maybe this will go up by then. I'm gonna get some sleep after this. It's been a very 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 long day but i'm excited to go to g fest tomorrow like i said i'm going to be vlogging and documenting my whole entire process and uh it's going to be a fun time so hopefully i'll get a chance to check out some of the other movies like godzilla 2014 screening on saturday i definitely want to go to that one and hopefully i'll be able to see the godzilla against mecha gods one even though i've already seen it in theaters but having Yumiko Shaku there to announce the movie like makes it all the more special so that's the thing i'm most interested in seeing is her so 
yeah but anyways that's all i have to say uh if you have any thoughts on king kong escapes let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below um i also will leave a link to my after the movie on it and then you know just for kaiju network's sake i'll leave a link uh if i can find it on this channel like some of his king kong reviews because he covered the entire animated series like every single episode so i don't think there was that many but he did the whole thing so there you go all right well that's all i have to say as always take care now bye bye then and i'll see you all in the next video peace